trying, Missy. I am trying to find you somewhere. I can't find you anywhere. Oh, I looked and looked and looked. I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't find you anywhere. I don't think people are talking about you anymore, Miss. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. Something's very fishy going on, Miss. Move on. Okay, let's talk about what's going on today. Okay, so let's fast forward from when you got engaged. Yeah, 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 when you got engaged to your hubby, the prince, the master. He was Prince Harry, Prince Harry, Harry, blah, blah. he has about three given names. Now he was reduced to just one single letter, H. I don't like that. I don't like this letter, H. I don't know. It's so demeaning. It's so belittling. It's so, it's so tiny, tiny. You know, it's, it, is it a capital letter or is it like, you know, not a, I, mean, I hope it's a capital letter. You know, Master H with a capital letter and you know how to make all those. Yeah, okay, let's forward. Let's go on. First things first, when you got engaged. Yeah, we're going to talk about your engagement. Yeah. Yeah, that you were sitting down you know like a little princess just like that wearing a green dress and you know Harry poor thing he was showing the ring that he made you from you know his mommy's diamonds and gold because you love gold and then he said then he said I hope you keep it on your finger I hope you keep it on your finger okay so he was kind of suspicious that day I think he was kind of, that was a red flag that was a very red flag okay come along and what did you say oh we never I never heard about Harry you know, I grew up in, in in another country in the U.S. of A. And I didn't ever heard about Harry. Where were you living, Missy? Where were you living inside the bushes? Where were you living in a make-believe country under a rock or something like that? Because you never heard about Prince Harry. You went to Buckingham Palace when you were a teenager with your girlfriend. I don't know. You thought that was a mansion, right? You thought that was somebody's house. You thought that maybe one day your daddy could buy that house. Or maybe you would marry somebody that you would buy that. That was the Queen's Palace and you knew everything. Okay? Okay. Fast forward. One second after. Oh, no. The aisle when your daddy. Your daddy didn't take you to the wedding. Your daddy was not able to take you to the wedding. Why? Oh, my daddy. I don't know where I can find my daddy. Everybody knew where your daddy was living but you. Or maybe you were trying to pretend that your daddy, you know, you were estranged from your daddy. Maybe your daddy was not so sweet to you. Your daddy just did everything he could for you, but he's not a guy. Your story, Missy, that's not my story. So you had to get your father-in-law. Who wouldn't want the future king to take you down the aisle to marry your charming prince? Okay, but he didn't take her from back way back there. He took you like two seconds because his son begged him maybe please daddy do me a favor and you know no, no, no. yeah he did that because he's gonna he might be the future king we don't know but he's royal he he's educated he's a royal man but i did not like your granny's face i did not like the granny's face she was not happy with that she was not happy with this wedding fast forward fast forward let's go two seconds after you signed the papers and you were ready to go out with that going to the party your wedding party okay and you had on already the rings that belong to mommy diana you already had the rings and waving to everybody i am on i've got my claws on the little guy i got my claws on the silly guy and that is it now <laughs> now let's have some fun Everybody was going to a wedding party, but you were already, you know, planning, planning, because you have a scrapbook that's thicker than a phone book. Okay, moving on, moving on. Let's just go further. Then here comes baby doll, the baby doll, the baby bump, and all the fake things and all the... It's too fake. You were fat here. You were fat in the behind after you gave birth to a baby doll. Okay, so don't you think, Missy, that don't you get afraid that one day this is called... There's a name for this when we cheat on people, we pretend that we're doing something or saying something that is not the real thing. People can sue you for that. Did you know that, Missy? That's called fraud. That's called fake. That's called, but let's move on, move on. Then here comes your trip to South Africa because in between this, so many things happened that I, I lost track of all the silly stuff that you just did. You Okay, let's, I'm going to remember some of the things because I was training you to be a royal, but you're not royal material, Missy. You're just a actress i don't even know if you're a d actress or something okay let's move on let's move on okay oh, yeah i'm out of breath you had the courage because it takes a lot of effort and a lot of courage to ask a girlfriend of yours on a blind date a blind date i don't think it was a blind date i think you had your eyes wide open missy your eyes were missy no mizem mizem you had your eyes so wide open on that money on those jewels on the castles on the royal family buckingham palace and all that it was not a blind date it was a wide open eyes date okay that's how i call it oh my gosh that's the question he should have asked his friend who is this woman that you're trying to introduce to me is she going to be the person that's going to put her claws on top of me is she going to be a person who's going to ruin my family to ruin my friendships to ruin my friends to ruin my family to 
split my family into two and I'm going to be all by myself, all by myself with nothing. He, he's the one that should have asked. Okay, so there you go, there you go. Go near, get your way into the royal family. But let's fast forward because you did so much nasty things. You did so many things that infuriated the taxpayers. Oh, the taxpayers, because I don't know if you know that all the taxpayers are paying for your luxury. Did you know that, Missy? Did you know that they pay for your dresses, your shoes, your cars? Oh, and now, yeah, the car. I'm going to get you the car. Your shoes, your dresses, your cars, your plane your trips, your, 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 your baby shower and even your baby dolls because they don't come cheap if you want to upgrade them if you want them to to talk to imagine you can have a, a baby doll that talks about 10 languages because as far as i'm concerned i think h talks about i don't know if he speaks other languages i'm not sure but he, he's kind he's kind you can be sure that he's kind he's a little bit blind and deaf and but he's kind okay he's a kind oh, poor thing he's a, he's a kind puppet yeah he's reduced to a puppet just like my doll she's a balinese princess but she's she's you know I can manipulate her, uh, you know, her hands, everything. I can do anything I want. The same way you can do anything you want with H. Okay, okay. Coffee. Let's have a break for coffee. So today, what happens is, you don't have the friendship of your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law, your father-in-law, your stepmother-in-law. No in-laws like you very much. Mr. H, Prince Harry, reduced to H, reduced to nothing, like a puppet, just like this one I have right over here, that you can manipulate them and all that. Isn't it fun? Yeah, it's fun because I can put it the way I want. That's how you do with your hobby H. Okay, yeah, okay. So now he's reduced to nothing because where are all of his friends? My question for you, Missy, where are all of his friends? They are gone, gone, gone. He has no friends. He has no brother to lean on, no sister-in-law, no daddy, no granny, no body to lean on. All his staff is gone. Okay, uh, yeah, it comes with the marriage. It comes with the territory. It comes from Mary, marrying Pushy Princess. Just like Sammy said, Pushy Princess. Okay, nobody understood what she meant by that, but today I guess everybody knows what, they're, what she was talking about. Okay, moving on, moving on to today. Okay, so now today, the thing is, you lost weight in one day. That's a miracle. That is a miracle. You're a magician, and I told that before, I am so... Uh, I have no words, you see? I have no words to explain to everybody. How can you lose so much weight? You have nothing here. You have nothing in the back. You're slim. You're flat here. You have no tummy, so you're not pregnant. You are not pregnant. Don't fake another pregnancy, Missy, because please, I beg you, don't fake another pregnancy because you're flat, flat, flat. You have nothing whatsoever, no fat anywhere. <sighs> yeah, Missy, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable, but that is true. The clock is ticking, tick-tack, tick-tack, tick-tack-toe. What's going to happen? Your father-in-law, the future king, or maybe not, because it could be William and Kate, your sister-in-law, that you just like that, and you know what's going to happen? He's not going to grab your hand and take her to the altar, or, you know, like he did. He's going to grab your little hand, he's going to call a taxi, and he's going to put you in the taxi, he's going to do this, and he's going to say, go, run, Missy, run. Or he's going to say to the taxi driver, run, man, I don't care where you take it, just 